We are TB Massimaini and we want to help Parabongo get educated and improve their quality of life. Our vision is to educate life skills as well as academic subjects. We want to create a community that children feel safe in and want to come to every day. I am the project manager so I help lead the team in the right direction throughout the project. I am the architect and I formed the layout of the site so that it was suitable for the school. I'm the architectural technologist, so I built the 3D digital model on Revit. I'm the landscape architect, so I've been looking into plans we can grow around the school that can be used to teach children life skills. I'm also the civil engineer, so I looked into electricity, water and toilets at the school. Another thing I did was look into sustainable technologies and self-ventilation, as I'm the building services engineer. I also am the structural engineer. I looked into what materials we could use for the buildings in the school. I'm the interior designer as well, so I looked into what could go into the school to make it a place where children will want to learn. I looked into how the building can be maintained as I am the facilities manager. Another role I took on was the quantity surveyor. I looked at the costing and what local materials were realistic for the project. The buildings have walls made of a mixture of clay and sand to form mud. The roofs are made of corrugated steel which collects water and cool earth. This is a form of self-ventilation. Also, leaving gaps between the walls and the roof will allow any cool air to be blown into the building and hot air blown out. This keeps the cycle of fresh air in the classrooms. The toilets we are choosing to use are twin pit for four flush toilets. They are made up of two alternating pits and can be made using locally available materials. There will be five groups of four toilets placed around the site. We will be mainly growing cassava, as this is a good source of carbohydrate. There are bitter and sweet varieties, and the bitter variety deter pests and animals. We will be growing this because there is already a plantation nearby, so we do not have to start our own and we know it will grow well. This is the central hexagonal building of the site. It allows people to have assemblies and eat in the same place. This is one of four circular buildings suitable for smaller, younger classes. Here is one of six bigger classrooms, suitable for two classes of 40 to learn at once. And this is one block of five for four cubicle toilets placed around the site. This is the farm building. It's suitable for larger classes than we have in the normal school buildings and also houses the kitchen. Around the site, there are also several patches of grass suitable for growing many different plants, such as cassava. <coughs> for the children of the school to be a part of the building so we thought they could decorate some of it with handprints. We would also like this competition <laughs> for the children to think of a name for the school as we think it's important for Ugandan children to choose a name for a Ugandan community-based school. <laughs> Our team name is in Swahili. Team Umati Mayini means Team Hope. Our slogan is Hope Builds the Future as hope links to the name and building is like building a school. Yeah, 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 yeah